excited. And now, he is a bit excited actually, I think he's all yours. <laughs> Thanks mate. Can't be fella. So he's slowly coming up, he's slowly pulling his leg forward. He's getting a bit of a kink in his tail. Good fuck. Oh, you're gonna come out slow today. Oh, how's that? <laughs> so I mean, he didn't come out too fast then. He means he can go from the tip of his nose to the base of his tail. But we'll see when Nick gets back in the water, get him keen again. Yeah, you can see he gets a little bit excited when somebody's splashing in his water. That's as fast as you will see Charlie run on the hard solid ground. But he is weightless in the water. Now we'll see if we can get him out one more time. There's not a heap of room to move here. Charlie's definitely one of the more cunning crocodiles here in the Crocosseum. He'd be submerged beneath the surface of deep, dark, murky water. And he doesn't show himself. He strikes from beneath the surface of the water. Over here, mate. And when you take into consideration in the wild, you wouldn't know where he is. And he waits for the opportune moment. So that'll be when an animal is right at the edge of the water, bending down for a drink. That's when he strikes. And he is so fast that even animals with greater reflexes than you or I will never avoid the attack. But as well as from the edge of the water, there's another spot where crops are dynamite, and Nero's going to show us that right now. Yeah, exactly. So what we're going to show you is the other form of strike crop would do. So basically what he's going to do, he's going to stop underneath his tail or bread, and he's going to pop up, and he will lock onto whatever food items dangling over the water there. So at this size, he'll be taking things like, you know, possums, flying foxes, birds, that are all roosting over the waterway and overhanging branches, low-lying branches. And what he would do is he's going to plant his feet on the base of this pond, and when he's properly locked onto the food items, he's going to angle his head upwards, so he can properly see what's going on, and then using his tail again, he will build up all his power, you'll start to see, see it twitch from side to side, and you've got to imagine that he's going to pick his whole body weight. He's going to get over half his body length up and out of the water. And he's going to do that all with that tail. So he's popped up now. He's going to show you that power. Go on, Nicole. If he's locked onto the food item, start to get twitching that tail. Oh. How's that? Give it up for him. He's pretty cool, isn't he? 